it's Friday. Thank God, it's Friday. Last night before I went to bed, I was like, you know what? I really wanna have a good morning tomorrow. I really want to wake up early, make my bed, eat breakfast. I want to feel good before I start my work. And so I thought, what better way to hold myself accountable to do all of that than to film it? The pressure of being filmed is good enough for me to actually do what I said I was gonna do. Okay. Mornings are so important to me. I feel like if I have a rushed morning, I'm just not as productive during the day. I'm not as just positive. Even I even feel like it affects my mood. Hope you slept well. This is a tea from yesterday, last night. And let's get this day started, okay? It's officially 10 a.m. and I forgot I have a meeting this morning. So <laughs> I'm going to have to enjoy this as I take my first meeting of the morning. That's okay. I still wanted to put on some makeup and do my to-do list on my bullet journal. Those were my last two things before I really feel ready for the day but sometimes uh you have to kind of cut your morning in half and attend your morning stand up so that's what we gonna do okay morning meeting is done that was great very productive my breakfast devoured it was delicious so good you have to you have to try this and if you try it tag me because i need to know that you've made it now is time for some makeup so ideally i would wake up even earlier than i did this morning so i have time to do this entire routine before my first meeting it is a little weird to like have a meeting and then put makeup on and then you show up to your next meeting with like a full face of makeup and then it's just like So I have dinner plans this evening with one of my best friends, Bessie, and then later my friend Juliana is coming to visit me. <laughs> She's coming to visit me from Atlanta. I'm so excited, but I just thought I would get my face done early and just have it on for the rest of my meetings and then I can go to dinner and then see my friend and I'll be like ready i'll be ready but i'm so excited because i have not tried new beauty products in so long it's been a really long time so i was so honored when merit beauty sent me this beautiful package of new products that i've already opened can you can you see that i've already opened all of them because i was like so excited i was like oh my god merit beauty is a stunning stunning beauty line and they're all about less is more and minimalist beauty so when they asked to send me products for me to try i was like uh, duh. because i i love minimalist beauty sometimes it's so minimalist to the point that people are like are you wearing makeup and i'm like yes actually i spent a good 30 minutes crouching over my tiny mirror it's okay 
Because if it looks that natural, I mean, maybe that's a good thing. So I'm gonna do my makeup for my dinner tonight and just for the rest of my meeting. So I look glam and ready and stunning for the rest of the day with Merit Beauty. I already have moisturizer on. I already washed my face. I already put my contacts in. Sometimes if I want my makeup to be extra dewy, I have to be a little bit careful with this because sometimes it's a little too dewy, if you know what I mean? Um, I like to use the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. This product is so stunning. It's really nice. You can wear it as like a skincare item, but honestly, if I put this on before I do my makeup, I feel like my makeup just looks more lightweight. It looks dewier, of course, because it is an oil, but I put very little, literally like two drops because this stuff goes a long way and I will just pat that onto my face. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful, it's called the Perfecting Complexion Stick and it is stunning. I got it in the color cream. According to the box, it says to use, swipe onto skin where you want coverage and buff it out with a brush so you can't tell what's you and what's makeup. Perfect, so I was also sent over this beautiful brush. This is the brush number one blending brush. So I assume these are supposed to be used in tandem. So I'm just gonna put it under my eyes and use it more as a concealer. Oh wow, okay. Actually, I think I might have picked the right shade. Ah, uh, this brush is so beautiful. I like don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. And I feel like you can use this brush for anything. I feel like it would blend out your foundation or even your blush. So since there's no powder in the group of products that they sent me, I'm gonna use my trusted and true Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It literally is what the name says it is. It's translucent. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that under my eyes. We are gonna move on to some blush, which honestly is like one of my favorite steps. I feel like it just brings your makeup to life. For blush, I'm gonna be using this beautiful blush that is their Flush Balm in Terracotta. Ah, uh, like, I, I love this. I love this color. It's unlike anything that I've had before. It comes in this cute little packaging. And it's just so cute. I love this color. It's literally unlike anything that I have. So they suggest literally swiping it on your cheeks. I love anything that is a creamier finish, especially blush. I feel like it just makes such a difference. I'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers. Oh wow, this is so creamy. This literally feels almost like a lip balm, but on your cheeks. And literally, I'm like, you could use this on your lips too. Like it's such a stunning color. I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of my nose to give myself kind of like that. Oh, I've just been, just been outside. Haven't been in my room all day working at my desk. Like who? Not me. I'm also obsessed with their packaging. This packaging is stunning. The next thing I'm gonna do is tackle my eyebrows. Um, I recently, kind of recently, got them threaded, so thankfully <laughs> this close-up is not terrifying. This is their Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade, and I got it in the color brown. Super beautiful packaging, and then when you open it up, it almost look like, looks like a mascara. I feel like an OG YouTuber right now. <laughs> and I like to start more on the outside of my brow rather than the inside of my brow. Ooh. I love how this isn't like overwhelmingly pigmented because sometimes with your eyebrows, you don't want that. When you apply, it's really hard to go back. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Look at the difference. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm not going to do anything on the eyel or on the eyelids. I'm not going to wear any like eye eyeshadow or eyeliner today. I just feel like doing a super natural, minimal look today. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Hopefully I don't poke myself. This happens every single time. Okay, so eyelashes are curled up to Jesus, as Patrick Starr would say. Now we're gonna go in with mascara. Just look at this packaging. 
gosh, she's stunning. She's beautiful. She is the moment. This is their Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. I got this in the shade Perfect Black. So this is the one. Oh, she is beautiful. I love this kind of wand that's not super chunky. Let's do this. We're gonna do a slight coat on the top. And this is kind of weird, but I really like how the formula isn't super wet to begin with. I feel like it just clings on to the eyelashes so much better. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Let me know if you know what I mean. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. This is their highlighting balm in Kava. Oh, look at that color. This is so beautiful. You know what, I'm just gonna swipe it on. I'm gonna swipe it on the top. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is, that is a highlighter. She is a highlighter. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so pretty. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm having so much fun. This is like so much fun. Okay, I think we are, yeah, we are on to our last step. I'm super excited to try this. This is their Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in the color Eau Naturelle. This is a tinted lip oil, which is like one of my favorite favorite types of products. Let's try this on. Okay, yeah, this might be my next favorite. <laughs> this is the final look, super natural, just how I like it. This is literally what I would wear day to day. It's super natural. It's glowy. I'm just, I'm obsessed. So if any of these products caught your eye, I mean, stunning, stunning. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these products, but if any of these caught your eye, you can shop Merit Beauty through the link in the description box. So yeah, have fun shopping and we can twin together with Merit Beauty. Now that my makeup is fully done, I feel so, like I always get this sense of relief when I finish getting ready. I just feel like, okay, I got the hard part done with. <laughs> so I'm going to make my iced coffee, which is also part of my morning routine. It's literally 35 degrees outside, but does that mean I won't crave an iced coffee? No. The last thing that I always, always, always try to make a point to do, regardless if I'm really rushed, I just love starting my day with my bullet journal. My bullet journal is my life. I've started to think of other ways of organizing my day other than a bullet journal. And I was thinking of Notion. I've heard a lot about Notion. It's like you do it on your computer, you do it online, you can do it on your phone. It's more digital planning. But there's something about the act of like writing down your to-do list that is just so almost cathartic in a way. It just kind of eases my mind as I'm writing and I'm really thinking about what I actually have to do. And honestly, because I do most of my work on my computer, it's sometimes the only form of writing that I do throughout the entire day. So I just really love having just like a pen and paper. This is my beautiful bullet journal. It is an Archer and Olive bullet journal. I am obsessed with their journals. Honestly, they're my absolute favorite. I haven't found any other 
journal that I love as much as this one. So this is my calendar for December. I did a cute little tree theme. This was inspired by no one other than Amanda Rachley. I love her. But essentially here in every single box, I have a little space for every single day. And there I write everything that I need to do. The special thing about my bullet journal is that I have a separate page that has my monthly to-do list. My monthly to-do list ha is broken up into four different categories. I have personal, I have work, I have side hustle, and then I have other. I made this cute little Dutch door here. And then on the other side is where I have my monthly to-do list. So this is a bunch of things that I know I need to do at some point during the month of December. So I know at some point I need to finish some training courses during the month. I know at some point I need to send out a specific email. I know at some point I need to finish this project for work. And then as I'm writing my to-do list for the day, so for today, Friday, I'll go back to my monthly to-do list and I'll check, okay, what is something that I can get done from this monthly to-do list today? So I'll be like, okay, so I can definitely finish those trainings today. So I'll just transfer over those monthly to-dos that I know I have to do at some point if I decide I want to get them done today. I'll just transfer them over to the little box that I have for today, for Friday. I love this because, you know, sometimes there, you have those like little to-dos that it's not necessarily due today or tomorrow, but you know you need to finish it before like the end of the month. So this way I don't ever forget any task. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go through my monthly to-do list, check anything that I wrote down in there that I wanna transfer over and finish today, and then just any other extra stuff that I know I need to finish by the end of the, by the, end of the day. So let's do it. So essentially, the majority of the stuff that I have to do today is to watch a bunch of user testing videos. I finished a prototype and I put it in front of customers, in front of participants, and yeah, it's so cool to see them use what I designed. So I just have to go through all of that, get the feedback, and then just other stuff. I need a new external hard drive. I need to send an email, I need to check my Amazon purchase, etc. Now I know how I can prioritize my day. And with that, my morning routine is complete. I just feel like it's just gonna set me up for success and I'm just gonna feel more at peace by the time I start my work and by the time I hop on my first meeting. We don't want that chaotic energy. No, 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 no. We are bringing some organized, positive energy into 2022. Yeah, let me know if you're in <laughs> with that, um, I guess, with that movement that I just decided I'm gonna start organized energy for 2022. Thanks so much for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Thank you again to Merit Beauty for sending me some beautiful products. And like I mentioned, if you'd like to shop any of the products that are on my face, then you can check out the link in the description box and look like a dime, okay, for those work meetings, for those Zoom calls. I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!